In John chapter 13, Jesus gives a new commandment regarding love. The golden rule of love your neighbor as yourself has now become the olden rule because Jesus says in verse 34 of John 13, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You are also to love one another. And in verse 35, Jesus takes this a step further. He says, this should be the identity of his followers. He says, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. This is your identity. This is what defines you. This is how people know who you are because of your love, because of the love of, of Jesus, the same kind of love that Jesus had for you. This is our identity as Christians. This is who we are. And it's not just any love. It's not the old kind of love that required us to love others as much as we love ourselves. And it's definitely not the really old kind of love that, that says, I, I love you and I do unto you as you do unto me. This is a love, a new love, the way Jesus loved. Gary Chapman wrote a popular book called The, the Five Love Languages. And I'm sure many of you have read it. In the book, Chapman argues that people give and receive love in different ways. And if you're not speaking that language, uh, as he puts it, uh, if, if you're not giving love and receiving love in the same way as, 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 as someone else is hearing it, and they're not speaking that language, it's not going to be interpreted as love, and someone may not realize it's love. If you're giving love to someone who doesn't speak your love language, they may not know it. My neighbor has a cat um, who expresses love to my neighbor by dropping a dead mouse on his porch. And unfortunately, my neighbor does not speak that love language, <laughs> the same love language as the cat. He, doesn't, he does not feel that love when he sees the dead mouse on his porch. In Chapman's book, he says the five love languages are quality time, words of affirmation, acts of servitude, gifts, and touch. In John 13, before, John, uh, before Jesus gives this new imperative of having an identity of love, he practices love in different languages. There in chapter 13, we see him touching the disciples' feet. We see the great act of servitude as he washes their feet. We see him spending quality time with his disciples as they share that last meal together. We see back in chapter 12, where Jesus gives these words of affirmation, promising eternal life. And then, of course, there in chapter 13, too, he is foreshadowing the ultimate gift that he would give all of us when he sacrifices his life. Jesus loved in all ways. Jesus spoke every single love language. The new commandment is to love as Jesus loves. Jesus says, love the way I love, love everyone in every way. That's quite a challenge because it doesn't mean that we only get to love in our love language. That would be loving others as we love ourselves, right? If we like to give gifts, that's the way we're going to love other people. Jesus says, don't just love how you love. Love how everyone loves. Love outside of your language. Love, lang love in languages that you don't necessarily speak right now. Uh, love in languages that other people speak so they can know that you love them. You know, if I only love in languages that I know, <laughs> I might be delivering dead mice to people's porches and not realize it. COVID has presented us with some unique challenges in love right now. Our friends among us, the people we love, whose love languages are our quality time and touch, they're really feeling some strain in COVID right now because we're not supposed to have some of that quality time that we're used to having, and they're definitely not supposed to touch like they, they, they used to. We need to find creative ways to reach out to people who love in these languages. Maybe it's uh, doing something like Tim Hall has been doing, where we arrange porch visits, where we can, with a safe distance, spend some quality time with people who really need that quality time. I've seen pictures on YouTube and on the internet where people are sharing their pets, their dogs, to go visit people so they can pet and touch that animal and, and at least express love and, and touch in, in that kind of way. 
I also saw someone who invented a really neat device with two sheets of plastic and a couple of armholes to where people can hug each other and be totally separated and, and germ free. And maybe we need to get creative like that. We need to make sure that we're speaking other people's languages. So here's your challenge for this week. Love someone, love somebody, but love like Jesus loves. Try to love someone in a way that isn't necessarily your love language. Try to learn a new love language this week. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. If, if writing a card isn't your thing, try to write a card. Maybe get on the phone, call somebody, and, and, and just to give them a compliment, just to give them some words of affirmation. Prepare a meal for someone. Do, do some kind of act of service for somebody. Man, it may be a range of porch visit. Do something to get out of your comfort zone. Love all people in all ways. Jesus gives us a challenge. Love like he loves. Love everyone in every way. I love you. Have a great week.